Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich, playing as that beautiful USA. So a couple comments from yesterday after we talked that basically we invaded Russia, sort of, and we've had quite a brutal war so far, but we're doing okay. Uh, the first comment I kind of want to address is that someone recommended I switch out some of these templates, I have too many here. Um, I guess so, maybe. Modern light ship hull? Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much to me. I wasn't even going to use that one, advanced light ship. Uh, templates, Dreadnoughts, that's basically a heavy battleship, and it's just normal battleship carriers, so not really too much difference here. Um, so I recommended I get rid of outdated templates for the army, which is, isn't actually that bad. We have cavalry divisions, which are just garrisons, marines are marines. We have some uh, motorized, old motorized, which I will convert to normal motorized, so we'll get rid of this template eventually. We have one division of Brazilian volunteers from the Civil War still, even though we already took out Brazil. Regardless, America's finest in regular armor, so not too many templates, actually. So I recommend I build in, like, the areas that we've conquered, which I will. And I will let you know, I did, like, core Canada because they had, like, over 90% uh, compliance. Yeah, 97%. At 97%, I think they're pretty worthwhile to core, and Canada's somewhat culturally close to the United States, somewhat, so I figured you might as well. It'd be a difference if I core Mexico, which I might do eventually, but they're still not at 90% yet, so... That's how I got a little more manpower, but let's continue smashing through Russia as we just one more comment, and that is, please go to war with China. That was the main comment from the, oh, another comment from yesterday's video. Please go to war with China. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I do pretty much plan on doing it. Right now, though, I do want to finish off the Russians. Uh, I think that'd be great if we could do that and take out Minsk with a very, not very organized tank division, maybe. Could we capitulate Minsk here? That would be really cool if we could. Now they might try to encircle me, which would not be very good. But oh well. Uh, convoy lost. Good, good. Very good, very good. Sinking more things. They're attacking us. We're attacking them. All good stuff. And we're trying to rescue this tank that I sent uh, up north earlier. So. Ooh. Brest Litovsk is the next state or city that we need. See, earlier we got you guys down here. Um, I need you to move up immediately. If you guys aren't doing anything, that's going to kill off our ability to wage war, and that wouldn't be very cool. Very good, very good. And hopefully we'll finish up this war by the end of this video, and hopefully go to war with China. That is my goal for the end of this video. Uh, please go there. Go, 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 go. Inspector Gadget, go. Go, go, go. Take it, take it, take it. No! The tank got in there first. Ah, that sucks. And we need more fighters. We ran out of fighters. Uh, we have lost a few divisions here and there. So. But our guys are still fighting on. Having a good time. Even if they're dying halfway through. It is what it is. Whatever. Uh, actually, you know what? I really want Riga. I'm still, still going to get Riga. We're going to try it. <coughs> have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm as we are slowly trying to demolish the enemies here and they did take over Moscow once again more divisions go bye bye sure why not why not ah see exactly we got them now we uh, I thought we were in circle for a second there not quite not quite uh, no we were defeated there that's not good Get rid of those guys there and move over here next if you can. I know you don't have a lot of organization, but whatever. You don't need a lot to do well. Come on, guys. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on, infantry. I need you to keep moving. Even though I know you're very, 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 very weak. If we can smack down Berlin, we'd pretty much win here. Because all we have left is Russia. God, I love these tanks. They're so good. Well, when they move and work. But, I mean, in their defense... Supply here is probably really god awful. Come on, keep going, keep going. Take out Berlin. Go straight for Berlin, come on. There's no way they can hold up to us. Order stored in Angola. While still, it still labors under American control, the Angolan military has asserted enough control over its own borders that a semblance of autonomy is now possible. That is not independence far from it, but it does mean they no longer have to rely on American troops to secure the borders, and thus not so tightly under our control. So be it. That's fine. I don't really care. Really don't care. Ah, there we go. Nuclear bombs. Very nice. Very, very nice. So we're going to grab some experimental rockets. That'd be very good. Anything updated? Just a carrier? That's fine. Don't really care about that too much. At this point, um, I might have seen you north. Which, oh boy. Could you guys take these guys out? You might be able to still. Yep, we killed them. Great. Berlin is a frontline city, and it is now our city. Follow Berlin, death, death charge mort. 
mortar. Very good, very good. Good. We're almost done with our navel tree, too. Wow. It is 1950. Almost 1950, so... What do you expect, you know? Uh, we're done with that stuff. Good. Artillery. Uh, get some of that stuff. Give us some boosts. Now, this is nice. This is just so nice to see. So good. Please keep going, tanks. Please, 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 please keep going. Good. Okay, don't let them have any peace. Not yet. They can have peace once I resurrect the German Empire. Oh, we're at war with Denmark too, huh? <clears throat> well, it is what it is. You guys keep going on up. We took Riga out. That's nice. At least most of the fighting's... The really bad, horrendous fighting is already over, which is a good thing. You guys go up there. You guys go up there. You guys go right there. You guys help take these guys out. Make sure they don't link up. That'd be good. Uh, take these guys out. Come on. This way. This way. Good. Very good. All those divisions are now dead. And we've linked up with a tank that was trying to escape to Königsberg. Just beautiful. B-29 Super Fortress. Very good. Get on the line. Get on the line. Uh, you can do that, but we're not going to. Scout planes, finally. Finally researching some scout planes. Only 15 million people, roughly 15 million people have died. That's all. That's all. Take those guys out. Encircle whoever's down here. That'd be good. Uh, actually, since I have you guys doing this, that'd be fine with me. Go, 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 go. Nice. Very good, very good. No, we're good. We got a lot of political power. Holy cow. Police crackdown for more stability? Yes, please. Ace pilot promoted? Very good. Extract some Australasian? Man, they must have had it really tough in Australasia. Just saying. Man, that's pretty bad that they're still taken out, but that's okay. It's active sonar. <clears throat> cool. Oh, better engineers? Why not? Why not? Alright, tanks. Do your best. Come on, take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out. They're still like, getting more and more of their own lands back. Russia is. But, okay, maybe not too much. Hold on, what the heck? Why did the tank go that way? Why did you get encircled? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're probably going to lose this tank then. Because I can't build ports up here, and they probably can't bust through there. Never mind, they probably can't actually. Uh, you go there, 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 there. We're going to try to rescue you. And I think I'm done making too many more ships, so I'm just making a lot more convoys. I think that'd be for the best. Come on, break through. Break through. There we go. I'm glad I looked at that one. Woo! Alright. How many divisions does Russia have left, even? Because we pushed them back extremely far. Get down here, get down here. You can break through, I know you can. Alright, so they have... Up to 42 divisions left. Not really a lot, not gonna lie, not a lot. We're getting our guys up here, which is very good, very good. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys go this way. Please get rid of those divisions. Ah, good, a big red one, good. Do we actually make enough fighters now? No, we... Oh, we actually... We were minus 2,500 the other day. Or yesterday. Or the last video. But now we're doing okay. Surprising. You are an ex infantry expert for now. Not too many more upgrades. No, but the Marines... Not too much... Too many other upgrades as well. Alright, guys, keep going. At this point, there's really no, no point to stopping. Did we save the tank division? I don't know why they went down here. So we had to liberate them that way. That made no sense, but whatever. It's fine. Fine, whatever. Sometimes I don't need to understand. I just need to know that our guys are safe. Alright, so who else is considered a major? Why is Denmark considered a major? Russia, India, yeah. Actually, how many they've lost? 2.75 million? Wow. We've killed 45,000. 
So, Denmark, Russia, India. Guess we're going to India, boys. And if a girl watch, if the girls watch this too, we're probably mostly boys. Dudes. Dudes. Uh, slowly, our war support is going down, which is not good. Is it because of bombings? The yeah, enemy bombings. That's what I kind of thought. Come on, the faster we push, the faster we can get out of here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take these guys out. The infantry should do relatively okay, so... Tanks are heading up to Stockholm. That'll be good. Alright, since there's probably not too much here anymore... You could try that. See what happens. Get a Dreadnought, nice. Who needs a Dreadnought? Do you guys need a Dreadnought? Four... That's actually really not bad. Uh, yeah, all you guys. Put them right here. Get right there, that's fine. Big ol' fleet. The infantry should do pretty well. Especially when there's open holes. Slew, killed, or Persia. A living legend is still better. Oh boy. Oh boy. 51% stability is not bad. Alright, so how many divisions do they have now? 34. They're going to capitulate soon. Tanks. They are getting to Prussia right now. Northern Germany. Very good stuff. How many nuclear reactors? We only have two? That's not enough. We need more. More nuclear reactors. So, if you take it... After the utter defeat of the Imperial Japanese Army, our forces control huge swaths of land in Manchuria and Korea. Uh, while the Imperial Japanese Navy are reduced to attempting mere blockades, our spies in Tokyo report severe dissent and war wariness among the populace. In light of this, the government has called for a two-week conference in Port Arthur to determine our war aims. Push for total victory. This will prevent peace for all those at war with Japan, not just us. We accept Japan's terms of peace. <clears throat> um... I'm not sure why I'm getting this event when, uh, I'm not China, so. Those at war have to accept the deal through. All those at war with Japan have to accept for the deal to go through. Um, you know, let's see what happens. I can still justify on them. I still want to take them out. Let's see what happens. I don't know. This seems kind of interesting. Wow, it disappears. Very cool. Keep going, guys, even though they're trying to attack us in the mountainous region of this area. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, they could picture the Oh, I'm just, I'm just racing through Stockholm now. Or to Stockholm. Rocket artillery upgrade. Very cool. Let's get the next one. Liberator. There they are. We need way more aluminum. Wow. I don't think we can build aluminum, right? Yeah, we can't. Which makes sense, but still. Not sure why we get that option, but whatever. Stockholm, uh, we need Stockholm. They're so fast, I love it. 14.1 kilometers per hour. Alright, so how many mechanized divisions do we have, or pieces of equipment? Mechanized. 17,000, we should be able to convert these guys over now. It might be a little slower now, but... It's alright. Thank you very much for playing. Motorized, looking pretty good. <clears throat> I might replace... Artillery with that stuff. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, please don't stop. You gotta get all the way over here. Switch you two. Hey, look. Sunken destroyer. Great. And I did leave it up to the infantry to take out Russia, but we'll see what happens. Oh, boy. Collapse of the Japanese Empire. Um, peace with the... Empire of the Fading Sun. The two-week conference of Port Arthur has ended in agreements. The terms Japan offered were accepted and peace has been achieved. We've gained much and this is nothing less than a great victory. Uh... I mean, that's okay for now. But, uh... uh we actually got Hawaii back! Okay! Sure! I'm still gonna take them out, so don't get me wrong. We're gonna rebuild the Pacific Islands right now. Peace conference, so... Ooh. Work with the Queen allies? No, we good. They're fighting the Kingdom of Siam over there. 
Legation, what the heck? Um, I don't think I should really take it since it's not mine. So, I guess I'll give it to you guys, maybe? I mean, I wasn't in this at all, so. That's gonna look really bad. And where's the king or queen government that it is? King, queen. I'm not sure how to say that, really. Cool. There you go. Oh, I gave that to them? Oh, whoops. Oh, well, whatever. Cool. And now Japan is independent. Uh, yes. Go home, Australasia. We welcome you home. Because we took you out earlier because you joined the Entente and you wanted to fight us. But left by Joseph Chifley. Cool. Very cool. Still gonna go to Japan, though. Peace with honor? Well, it's not gonna be too honorable when I take you out, so. And don't forget Norway, too. Norway's too independent right now. Do we take out South Africa? I think we did, yeah. Good. Uh, that's a big old America. Big old America. Let's see. We're trying to fight or justify on Zanjiang Klik, and then I'll go justify on Norway as well. Don't want to forget the Norwegians. No, no, no. Russia, you gotta capitulate soon, right? A cat huh? They've got to give up soon. Taking all the major cities. At least in the, in the uh, western part of the country, but still. And we still take out India, too, but please just capitulate Russia. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Got all these things. Order sort of the Spanish Republic. Very cool. Vasa. Sankt Makel. Go ahead and cover there if you can. Just take out as much territory as you can. Ah, oh, Russia, why? Another division? Good. We need one for here. I think that should be enough for now. Still make more Marines, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Hey, we took it. Okay, so how's Finland not dead? We took out pretty much all their major cities. Inari? Sure, why not? So now we're only at war with Russia and India and the, that faction. Most of our guys do not want to come into the war, which is really disappointing, but whatever. Yep, it doesn't clock up the line. That's good, though. We are now at the mercy of the infantry. Move their little legs so we can win the war. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to ask you guys to move over to... Ekaterinburg. Ekaterinburg. Yes, Ekaterinburg. Very good. Good, 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 good. Well, these things are working out for us really well, really nicely. Very, very nicely. I doubt we need more upgrades, though. Yeah, I doubt it. And then we'll have to fight at land war in Asia, which is going to really suck. But you know what? That shouldn't take too long. Invading Japan shouldn't take too long either. Honestly. It really shouldn't. Oh, but now that means we have to take out all these other Asian countries separately if they don't lose to, like, the Zili clique. Huh. I did not think that one through. Insulinda. Hmm. Japan is still there for some reason. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go to war immediately just so we can get that done. Norway. Sorry, Norway. We like you, but you're too independent right now. Just too, a little bit too independent. Uh, who else do should we just, just find on? Let's see. Zilli Klik, Zinjiang, uh, Sarawak, Philippines. Are you still a puppet? No, you're not. Who owns all these islands? Japan does. <clears throat> well, I can probably go to war with these guys, actually. Just because we can invade from Australia using our Marines. Get some more fighters for now. That'd be fine. Because we were running out before. Engineer 2? Great! Let's get military police 4. That'd be very nice. More suppression bonus, thank you. Slowly moving up. Come on, Russia, just give it up. It's over. I have too much of your ground. I have too much of the high ground. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The Catherine Brook has been captured. 
Oh, there's where Zlaust is. I never knew where that really was. I just remember that from TNO. And, okay, I think they capitulated. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Please finish off any areas that you need to take out. But now we must get, attend to other matters. You guys. Um, I'm just going to send you guys over here. And go ahead. You guys are over there. You guys come over here. That'd be good, all right? We're just going to really suck taking these guys out. But that gives us a good foothold into China when we get there. You guys get over there. That'd be great. I'm actually going to send you guys down there, too. So we start crushing everything around here. That'd be good. If we can, build up the infrastructure because it's going to suck so much fighting in these areas. I should have built this up earlier, too. My bad. Uh, you can build some radar right there, too. This army... You're gonna come to Mongolia, maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Right there, that'd be fine. And then, who else are we fighting? India, Republic of Nepal, Sili Clique, that's fine. I don't really care about them. Uh, India, yeah, India, hmm. I'm not sure where else to put you guys. I really don't know. There you go, something like that. Something like that, there you go. Hold, go. Wait, no, I don't want you there. No, 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 no. I did not click on that. That is fake news. Scout plane 1's cool. Scout plane 2's. A rocket artillery upgrade? Sure. Very nice. Even better. Go, go, go. Oh, no, no. Beating Mountaineers at their own game, man. Gotta go, go, go. Taking out India is gonna suck, suck, suck. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy crap. We lost quite a few subs. I have not been paying attention around here, have I? That's alright. Uh, go ahead and retreat those guys for now. Go ahead and heal up. That's okay. We got plenty of subs coming anyway, so hopefully. India, you're gonna have to pay for that. Merb. Come on. I do know that we need to attack. The supply is probably not very good around here. Ah, tank division. Great. Oh, boy. Nice. Sink those task forces. Lost another sub, so be it. Good. Very good. Um. Oh, did I give you orders? Yeah, if you could push in immediately, that'd be great. <clears throat> Can you not go? Please go ahead. Please, please, please. You guys have already entered this area, which is great. Hopefully, we can just get, take the capital and finish them off. That'd be awesome. Uh, we're, ooh, what's going on down here? Thanks for still making their way down here, which really kind of sucks. Sorry. Right. Oh, hello. Alright, well, whatever. Kill that division off once you're done. Fighting those guys down there. Thank you. Very good. Convoys! Wow, we need a lot of aluminum. Very good. And you guys all stop. Do this. Take out Afghanistan, which will open up India quite a large amount. Go ahead, Marines, go ahead. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Come on, take the capital, take the cap- God dang it, take the- The capital is much more important than that piece of dirt. At least usually it is. Usually. Yeah, don't let them move. They chose their destiny. Let them, let them revel in it. Good. Keep those guys in place. There you go. Capital's ours. And the next capital is probably here. I don't... S oh, there it is. Hotan. Because Vietnam. Good, good. So that means we don't take them out later. That's awesome. Uh, good, good, good. Let you guys go take Hotan, if you can. That'd be great. Good. Oh, boy. Oh, we're going the wrong way, man. Get down here, if you can. Wait, hold on. Can you not get down there? Just go right there, man. So much easier. I'll tell you guys to go that way, though. Alright, Afghanistan's looking pretty good now. 
Not too bad. Could be better, of course, but, you know, not too bad. See, I don't know. Oh, the Soviets had problems with taking out taking out Afghanistan with tanks? What? what? <sighs> Fake news, man. They wanted to lose on purpose. Very cool. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Ah, Afghanistan. I love you, Afghanistan. Probably will never go to Afghanistan, because I'm not in government. Not not yet, someday, but maybe some, someday I will be. Don't plan on it, though. Kind of hoping it will happen, though. But probably not planning on it. I'll cut that division off. Okay, so the gateway to India is open. I feel like Alexander the Great now. Uh, time to invade India and have a good time. Actually, how many divisions do they have? They don't seem like to have a, have a very large army now. Oh, they have five to eight divisions. All right, tanks. All right. It, it's time to have some... Uh, tank... Good times. I I cannot think right there. Holy cow, my mind just went bah. Wowzers. Uh, oh, well, they're, they're long dead. I don't think they can really do much against us. Japan. Um, what's the, what's the uh, capital right there? Cool. Very nice, very nice. Ah, uh, Russian ships. Good. Yeah, poor India. Very poor India. Very, very poor. Oh, we took Hotan. Uh, are they going to capitulate soon? or Maybe? Maybe we gotta take Bayang Bayang Golin and, and Kamul, like the Kamul Khanate. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice, actually. Oh uh, yeah, just go on in, guys. They're not gonna hurt you because well, they don't exist anymore. Oh, whoops, whatever. And the pack should close very soon. I love these tanks and mechanized. I don't even have motorized in these divisions anymore. No more motorized. It is 1950, almost 1950. So we have to move with the times. India will fall very soon. Beautiful. Get some anti-tank finally. I almost never use anti-tank because when you're playing single player, you almost never need it. Just, just saying, you know, you just don't really ever need it that much. Yeah, we can get one. Uh, I think we were making some earlier, right? That's anti-air. Uh, maybe I wasn't making any. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, well, you know, I'm just moving to the top then. It's fine. Maybe we'll switch out some of these support artillery for this type of artillery. That might be better. Or maybe rocket artillery stuff. Maybe we'll see what happens. Ah, just it's no comp, no competition here. Just really no competition. Ah, uh, there's, there's little pockets here and there where they have divisions, but I'm not really too concerned about it. We went to war with those guys. We want to go to war with uh, Norway. Oh, they capitulated faster than the Moscow Accord. Thank you. Beautiful. Alright, so, we are justifying on Norway and one other person? Ah, and Selinda. That's right. That's fine, I don't really care. Ah, Vietnam is back. Hello, Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Led by Ngo Dinh Diem. Very cool. Kachin was annexed. Good job. Oh, wow. The Qing Queen Empire is looking really great, actually. They're looking really good. Which means it'll be easier to take them out later on. I love, 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 love. I'm not going to put these guys in the water yet. I will, because I want them to invade. But uh, Fortress Buster actually probably be the best thing that you could do. Because you might attack some crazies. In the meantime, I guess if you really want to help attack other parts of Afghanistan, that'd be fine with me. Uh, upgrade? Better engineers? Why not? We only have 1,500 factories, that's all. We're going to lose so many factories when we're done here, so let's go ahead and build up some more military factories here in Canada, maybe. That might be beneficial, because I'm done with ports. Uh, we don't need any more. Uh, don't forget this, though. Nuclear reactor in San Francisco? Nothing could ever go wrong there? You're right. Uh, and I will drop nukes on Japan just because... It's a, it's a tradition, basically, at this point. It's absolutely a tradition. So, if you really want to get down here and help out, that's fine with me. Oh, we also have to take out Nepal. Which... I'm not really having issues with, obviously. So. Cool, the fate of Xinjiang. Um, I'll deal with that in just a little bit. I would like one massive unified China. I think that'd be great. That'd be really cool. Rocket engines, very cool. Let's get some jet engines. Even though that's not really super necessary, I would say, at this point in the game. Since we produce so many of the war fighters already, so. Come on, guys, you're doing a great job. Level 9, not fall enough. Fall of Bangkok. There goes Republican Nepal. Very nice, very, very nice. 
Uh, are you at war? Are you probably still at war with other people, right? Laos. That'd be good. Good. Take, go to Calcutta if y'all can. That'd be great. Try to make it in Circuma, but our guy said no. Oh, single militia division. That's, that sucks for them. Alright, they should capitulate now that we got Calcutta. Please capitulate. Please. Why did I core everything for India? Good. Well, we got the empire done. I uh, guess who non... What? How did they... How did they... Are you a puppet? You're not a puppet. You're actually in the alliance. Huh. Can I just fight one unified China? There we go. And you know what? I'm going to do this peace deal off screen. So I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So here we are. So it's the first thing you might be able to see. And then we have the Kingdom of Denmark taking over, or has taken over, uh, Sweden and Finland. And we're currently at war with, let's see, Norway and Insulindia, which has the Federation of Malaysia under them. Uh, I've gone to war with Norway already. I haven't done anything yet, though, just because, well, I saw no point to, really. Uh, let's go ahead and call out all our allies, because we also have a war justification done for uh, China. So, in which we will go to war soon enough. But let me just go ahead and call in everyone just for funsies, which is probably a really bad idea. And then we'll talk about all of these other nations that I have uh, liberated, we'll call it. Yes, liberated. Wow, we actually have a lot of allies now. Cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yep. So with Germany, I'm going to just do this real quick. There we go. Cool. So for the Germany, I decided, you know what? Let's just have one big old German Union with Austria in it too. And Switzerland. Just because... We can. A German Union led by von Witzleben. Now, I gave the Baltics to Lithuania just because I wanted it like a Baltic Federation, but that was not available. So, I chose Lithuania because I normally don't choose Lithuania, I think, to unite the Baltics. We have that. We have right, White Ruthenia here. We have the Kingdom of the Ukraine. Kind of a long boy here, led by Skodopatsky. Yeah, that's how you say his name. Which goes Czechoslovakia, led by Jiri. We have Hungary, a bigger, greater Hungary. Uh, just because... Normally, Hungary gets reduced to very small proportions, so I figured, you know what, let's have a greater Hungary in this campaign. We have Michael I over here, which still, he still has ports and Dobrugia. Uh, we have Bo Boris III, we have Yugoslavia, of course, like normal. Um, Denmark is led by this guy, Eric, with... And we have the Russian Republic, led by the R Romanov. Huh. Okay. Oh, wait, are they... Oh, they're just fucking against them, huh? Uh, we have the Central Asian Federation down here, too. I had to release Xinjiang just so that we could get through this a little quicker. I'll give it to China once we're done here. We have a very thick Persia, which took out half of Af Afghanistan. Uh, this other half of Af Afghanistan went to the Central Asian Federation just because Persia already had a core on this part of Afghanistan. I figured, just give it to them. And I didn't know they had cores on Azerbaijan as well, which is actually really kind of cool. So there's that. I uh, know we have Turkey here. I gave Bulgaria Adrianople, just for funsies. Um, because they, they were my loyal puppet for a little bit, so I figured, you know what, we might as well do that. But, you know what, instead of everyone fighting over Constantinople, just like with the Suez, I'm going to take it. I'm going to turn everything here into a museum, so we can make money off of it and give it to the poor. Uh, we have still Turkey here, though, but in exchange, I did give them Georgia, so... And a little check of Armenia. Hopefully they don't do anything bad down there, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we have Arabia, Persia. I made the Indian Empire instead of the Republic of India, just because, well, I don't know. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, do you not have this as cores? Holy crap, that's not good. Uh, let's see. Do you actually have focuses? The New India Act. They might they might not need me to do that. New India Act. Stability. Research slot. Stability. Stability. Um, okay, then. Incorporating these guys. They have to be... Oh, they have to be at peace to do this. My name's Goa. Uh, I should have cored this for them. Uh, I should have really cored all this for them. Now they're probably going to have like, no manpower now. That would really suck. Actually, how much manpower do they have? If they have enough, I'm not going to give them any more. Uh, I've cored enough, a lot for them, so we'll see what happens. There goes a convoy. That's fine. Uh, their manpower should go up very soon, since we cored more stuff for them. Uh, that's not really that much. I did core various portions of this, but oh my goodness. Yeah. I didn't realize I had to core all this stuff later on for them. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just core some of these states so that at least have some more man, some normal amount of manpower in India. Even though I know they, they shouldn't be able to core everything. Uh, let's see. Well, it doesn't look like it's really going up that much. Hmm. They might be demobilizing, maybe? Maybe? Uh, let's core a little bit more for them, I guess. Not even Delhi. Oh, yeah, they definitely have to have that, that one cored. Oh, boy, what's going on down here? Some more convoys, that's fine. 
India, please. Look a little better, please. Alright, their manpower's not really going up at all. Hmm. Uh, it's slowly going up. I'll do one more. Just for funsies. One more. There you go. Cool. So we're sinking stuff. Convoys. Good stuff like that. And we've been doing a really good job around here. We need to go to war with the Chinese at the end of May 30th, which, is, like I said earlier, I think that's pretty much it, though. Group fire control systems. Nice. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see. That's good. Let's get some basic fire control systems, because we can. Uh, why is my fleet just... What the heck? Come up here. See what you can do. That'll be good. Another submarino. Great. Not sure why they're just sitting there and waiting to get killed, but whatever. And with this, I'll probably give all this territory to Denmark. I wonder if I can make Scandinavia. That'd be kind of cool. Let's take Bag in real quick. Thank you. Anything down here? Some more convoys. Great. And there goes Norway. Alright. Denmark. There you go, Denmark, and I'll core everything for them just so that they don't rise up. These Norwegian gamers rise on up. Marking core, which I know doesn't make too much sense, but whatever. I'm glad that's a massive state. Let's see, over here. Go and do that too. If someone pops out, well, no. Cool jet engines are very cool. Very cool. Support companies, we can grab some of these. Ford Government Rocket Launcher FWD. Nice. Very nice. That's cord, that's cord. Double checking. Awesome. Very awesome. We have four nukes. We got 11 reactors. Not enough, obviously, in my mind. Anti tank upgrades. Let's grab the next anti tank. Which we don't honestly really need, but whatever. As I'm building up more infrastructure uh, in India, in Russia, so that way we can go to war and do well over there. We'll take out Insulinda later on. I'm trying to train my guys over here. Where do I send you guys? I'll probably send you guys over here, actually. Even though you're currently stationed in Norway. Whatever. Let's give ourselves just a little bit more time so that we can get our guys over here. That'd be good. I do want to go to war with Japan, so really, last off is just Asia. That's pretty much it. And we already have a good chunk of Asia under us, so. That'd be good. Take out these islands independently. Hopefully, we don't have to do too much to invade. That's a thick Vietnam. Wow. What is Vietnam doing? Oh, crap. Oh, don't tell me that. We're out of guns. Yeah, we're probably out of guns again. Just get rid of all this. Let time go on, it's fine. Yeah. I wish we would raise the counter here for guns. That'd be actually really nice. And obviously our infantry took a lot of hits, and they need to train up, so that'd be kind of nice. I could give these guns away, but I don't really feel like it. Uh, do that to high. Yeah, it's fine, whatever, I don't really care. Anything over here? Not really. War propaganda, that's always nice to do. Uh, other than that, some of these guys are really good to go. China is going to be difficult. They annexed the Hunan clique, apparently, so it is what it is. They're doing air production. Uh, they have a million manpower, which isn't as much as I thought they would have. They have up to 500 million, 500 million or 500 divisions. Their navy is, you know, about where we think it would be. They probably have a t massive air force, which is fine. You know, kind of expect that. That's okay. I don't expect them to hold out too much, too well against us, just because we do have a lot of vehicles. And they probably can't pierce us unless they do. They might have anti-tank. It is 1950, though. Yeah, it looks like they do have some anti-tanks, so we'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. Order sort of white Ruthenia. So be it. So be it. Very good. Recruit in Algeria. I don't really care. That's a really nice German Union, though. They don't have a lot of manpower, though. Wow, that sucks. Actually, did I not core stuff for you? I thought I did core stuff for you. Uh, what conscription level are they at? Oh, limited conscription. They probably lost too many guys to do that, so that's fine. Advanced rocket engines. We want to keep let time go on. We had to go to, go, go to war very, very soon, though. Let's go ahead and stop training, then. Get some more organization before we start the war. Once again. <laughs> more war? No problem. You guys have training too. Where are you guys at? Ah, uh, you guys are... Oh, you're over there, huh? Interesting, interesting. Oh, wait, well... Uh, yeah, I have no idea where to put you guys. Hmm. We could naval invade. Mm, yeah, we might consider naval invading then. Take out Busan, perhaps? Yeah, why not? See what we can do about that. I don't really want to invade anywhere else just because it would probably not go very well, but that's okay. One, two, three, four. Come up to here. Because we're going to need these guys to invade Japan, so let's go over there. That's good. All right, let's go and go to war, see what happens. Okay, give me one more day. Call all allies in. Go ahead, do that. And they attack me immediately. Maybe. Pick up Tibet. Uh, can we go to war with Tibet? Yes, please. Down here. Alright, you get one more core. 
There you go, India. I hope you like it. Their manpower is still not going up, which is really disappointing. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Cool. Good luck, tanks. Good luck. Are we getting attacked anywhere? No. Josen Kingdom. Uh, over here, we might be able to win, actually. Calling the Russians. I'm not sure why they didn't come to war with us, but that's okay. Auto saving. That's fine. Call it arms. That's fine. India. Call it arms. Okay, now they're attacking us. That's good. Call it arms. Disintegration Federation. That'd be good. We got some nukes, which we will need to use eventually. Uh, they're attacking us down here in the mountains. Or not. This is just. Oh, these are just planes. That's kind of interesting, huh? Well, they're definitely attacking us. Definitely, most definitely. Uh, you guys might be able to push in, maybe. We'll see what happens. Can they pierce us? Yes, they can. But hopefully, they can't do too much to us. Cool. Very cool. Oh wow, that's a lot of convoy sunk. Engineer four. Great. Get more entrenchment. Field hospitals would be cool. Let's get some signal companies because we can. Very good. And we're pushing in slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, jet masters. Cool. Those sound like a fun little toy to have. I want a jet master. Can you guys win here? Maybe. Can you guys win here? Uh, most definitely. Or at least I'd hope so. How about air-wise? We're doing okay, maybe, except in southern Manchuria. It is what it is. The fall of the empire, especially Mongolia. Oh, look at this. A lot of Chinese convoys around here, huh? Not sure where they're going to, though, honestly. Alright, losses thus far are third of a million versus how many for us? 57,000, not bad. They've taken over. Almost over 400,000. Yeah, there they go. Very good, very good. War propaganda, very good. Just in case, you never know. Anything around here? Convoy, convoy, very cool. Doing very well so far. Marines are still taking their time to get over there, which is fine. Whatever, I wasn't really expecting them to do too well yet, so. Could we win around here? Maybe, just maybe. So really, there's going to be one last episode in this campaign. Probably if we can do really well against China right now, because we want to take out all of Southeast Asia, as well as Japan. And that would, I think, be a very good thing to do. Let's see. Good, good, good. Nice. Yeah, I think they're still using most. They've already lost over a million. Jesus. I mean, we've lost 100,000 already, which is nothing to scoff at, but still. Oh, this is nice. They, they have more planes than us in the air, but ours are just better, I guess. Or we have better air doctrine, probably. Uh, how are the planes? So oh, we can use more planes. How's our stockpile of mechanized? Keep an eye on that. 5,600 is not bad. After I converted all these guys to mechanized, quite literally all mechanized now. Uh, let's see, it's becoming an organizer. He's almost a commando. That's good. Become a commando, please. Please become a commando. Then again, killing off a million manpower from China. Not that impressive. That's not too difficult to do. But I'm going to assume they're mobilizing more, maybe, at this point. They might run out of stockpiles and stuff. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens, though. Anything here? Uh, we might not be able to win yet, but in time, we definitely will be able to. Yeah, so these guys push so hard, they kill themselves on the line still, constantly. Order restored in Czechoslovakia? Great. Oh yeah, we got, you get, you got these guys. These evil people down here. Truly barbaric. Hey, there goes Mongolia. Great. Are you guys over there yet? Well, pretty much. Go ahead so we can get rid of this bad infrastructure. Supply is so bad around here. Get another port going here. Mongolia, that'd be good. Who else? Right there, right there. Right there, right there. That'd be good. Nice. Look at all these encirclements. Very beautiful, my friends. Very, very beautiful. So I can't beat them up there. Oh, disappointing. Whatever. Well, yeah, let's do like that. Very good. Sorry, China. I know you wanted peace, but whatever. Is Indian manpower okay yet or not? It's getting lower. Oh, we got the thing done. Let's go. I'm also use it. There we go. We got the two. 
There we go. India is such a massive place. The reason why I want to quarry because the resistance keeps going up. And I don't want to have to deal with, like, resistance in India, because that could really hurt your supplies, so. Well, it looks like we're good to go. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, Korean little task force or convoy. Good, good, good. Uh, ten divisions. Eight divisions, I mean, here. Probably can't win there, buddy. You help out. You do really well. We've already killed off... Wow, four million. Jeez, that's a lot. Four and a half. Almost 4.6 much as we all love Chunk. Hmm. How does that work? We also might have lost another division, actually, already. Cool, very good, very good. Scout cars? Why not? Man, you know they're America's finest when they attack until they die. Wow. Wowzers. Wowzers and Bowsers. Nuclear reactors are still being made. I don't want to make any more. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job, even though it's probably hellacious fighting through here. Probably very hellacious, actually. Very not bueno. Yeah, maybe you guys stop doing what you're doing. Oh, you're kind of doing okay, though. Really, the northern part is where we're focusing on the most. Probably the most important part here. Of course, resistance will go up, but whatever. Over 5 million are dead. They have 214, 212 divisions left. That's not bad. 300 factories is nothing to scoff at. Okay, now they have less than 300. Never mind. We've suffered a third of a million. You know, it is what it is. Uh, let's help out. Fall of Beijing. The Forbidden City is ours. Cool. How strong is Japan still? They did peace out with us earlier in this episode. Some manpower, some fuel, some divisions, a pretty good fleet, it looks like. And probably a ton of planes. So they're going to be a pain in the butt to take out. But it is what it is. Alright, guys, don't let these guys escape. That would not be very bueno. Is, has anyone learned anything yet? No, I don't really expect them to learn too much anyway, so it is what it is. In the meantime, uh, I guess we could, like, funnel some more soldiers down here just in case to help conquer faster. I guess that'd be okay. Is Vietnam their puppet? I think they are. That'd be kind of nice if they are. Yes, they are. Republic of... Ah, so is... Well, at least I am. So small. How about Burma? If they want to kill Siam. 85. Eh, that's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Or just not enough. We got quite a few nations to take out, so it's going to suck, but that's okay. That's okay. Nice. Very nice. Can you win right here? They can pierce you. But yes, you probably can. With infantry helping from the other side, which is a great thing. Craw, what you learning, son? How speedy are you? Five kilometers per hour, that's not bad. It's slightly better than infantry. Oh boy, it's killed over seven million. We've lost about 400,000 men ourselves. Not bad, we have killed off at least, probably 150 divisions, probably. Seven million, Jesus Christ, that is a lot of dead Chinese people. Then again, this is just China, so that's probably like a normal day there. Just a normal year. Wow, we, wow, what the, you really want to get down here. All right, well, just going to Macau then next. Split these guys all up, that's good. Take the capital, Shanghai will be cut off, which would be nice. Oh, we're playing the, uh, no, now they're dead. Now they're dead. They should capitulate very soon. And that's the only country we need to capitulate. Almost 8 million dead. Jesus. Uh, where'd the divisions go? Tanks? Yo, okay here? Just go ahead if you can. Improved anti-tank upgrade. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna even pause it, so here's a more improved anti-tank upgrade too. Very cool. Very, very cool. Anything here? Not really. And that's a good thing. Slowly maybe doing better here. Maybe, maybe not. Advanced rocket engines, cool. I hope Japan likes what they're seeing, because this is going to be the future very soon. We're done with that, we're done with that, done with this, sort of. Shooting star, sure. Sure, why not? Come on, get 8 million, 8 million. Can we get 8 million? 8 million. Shanghai, oh, we sunk a Chinese uh, destroyer. Very cool. And we lost probably a plane or two. And the fall of Shanghai, finally Shanghai is ours. 
Now 8 million has been done. 86% of the way there. Now we gotta go up there. Let's finish these guys off. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. I was just pushing down into Vietnam. It's looking a little rough up here, not gonna lie. Looking a little bit rough. Do we still win right here? Maybe. Okay, Crow, what do you got for us? Not much. He's a commando now, it's nice, but still. It's an okay skill. There are better ones than that one. And those guys have died. Very cool. 50. Can they hurt us still somewhat? Oh, Silver Legion. There were rem remnants of the Silver Legion right there. Good. Ace pilot promoted. Very good. Oh, you guys are done. You did uh, such a great job. Keep going. You'll be fine without us. Alright, in the meantime, let's go ahead and start doing this. Let's have go on just a little bit. Vladivostok. Uh, we'll take that port. Thank you. Two, three. Come from there. Invade that port as well. Hopefully we can do well. I uh, don't know, but we'll see what happens. We come from Busan. Attack Hiroshima, if possible. And also come from Busan and attack there. These are all different areas that we want to invade in. And once we land successfully, I will just invade with tanks. So, that shouldn't be too long, but we'll see what happens, of course. That should be the last town that we need. That should be. Eight, eight, almost eight and a half million. We've almost lost half a million ourselves. They only have 75 factories left. Not bad. Very cool. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Help them out, help them out. Where are you going? Go, get back over here. Take them out, take them out. Where's the capital? Chongqing? It's always Chongqing that ends up being the capital. Well, until I take it over, so. There we go. Almost 9 million. For half a million American losses. And then a lot of Siamese people died as well, so. And Vietnamese! Jesus. Come on, that should be it. Uh, I love America. Cool, but that's going to end today's episode. Uh, I will do this off screen, and then the next episode, episode will probably be the last one where we take out the rest of the world. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked today's video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we'll finish off this campaign. Have a great rest of your day.